Hey, it's Tim. And it's Amy from Go With Less. We're glad to see you. Thanks for being here. In today's video, we are sharing our November spending, and it is another over budget month. We are tracking to be really high in our spending this year. We're gonna share the details of where we are for the whole year. Every month we target to spend $3,000. That works out to about 36K a year. This year we have failed month after month after month and it hasn't been a great year with our spending. Yeah, so we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of that in today's video. Every Wednesday we come out with a new video about our early retirement, travel hacking, house sitting. We're getting ready to be nomadic in January, so in less than two months we will be totally on the road all the time. We're real excited about that. So we hope that you'll subscribe over here, ring the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started with our spending for the month of November. So our biggest expense this month was auto, this category of automobiles, cars, etc. And the biggest chunk of that was insurance. So we spent $965 in this category this month and $763 of that was insurance, which is insurance for the next three, six months on our one car that we have left. So that seems a little high to me, but nonetheless, $763 for comprehensive coverage on our one car for the next six months. We also had to fix the heater in that car. So there was something, a wire was loose. It cost us 120 bucks to have that fixed. Here's something interesting. The auto mechanic told us it was just something was loose. He said, if we went to the wrong person, it was going to cost $3,000 to replace this part that this wire connection ultimately fixed. The car is over 10 years old, so things might get a little loose, I guess, and something wasn't connecting tightly, so they kept trying to connect it and it popped off, trying to connect it and it popped off again. They said if they weren't able to get it secure, that the entire part to replace it was $3,000, so they added a little screw. So that also included an oil change, though, and when Tim mentions car insurance, that is six months of car insurance. So. I mean, it does seem kind of expensive too, but we are done with car insurance for, for like a primary vehicle starting June 1st. So that gets us paid up through June 1st. Yep, can't wait to be there. Yeah. Okay, next, travel. Travel's normally number one. This month it's number two. And I'm gonna be talking about a trip that we took in November to Las Vegas after we're done with our uh, other spending. But we spent a total of $699 on travel. That was including four renewals of different credit cards, which was over $300. That was paying for an Airbnb gift card at a discounted rate, paying $170 for Airbnb. Tim bought a, well, we're gonna be talking about our future travel plans, but he had to buy a one-way ticket on a, just $40 for Spirit Airlines. And then it also includes our Las Vegas trip, which was really low, and I'm excited to share that at the end of this video. But that was $699 for the month for travel. And then our next expense is gonna be health and fitness. This was $510 for the month. Nothing extraordinary happened here. This is just our insurance, normal things with, the, with our health and fitness. I keep saying this, this includes our fancy gym. Uh -huh. Actually, not our fancy gym, because Tim doesn't have a gym any longer. My fancy gym, I think I went to it one time the whole month. Are you sure you went once? <laughs> I think I did go once because I loved it so much and I said, you know what? I loved it so much that was worth $70. You remember I came home and said how much uh, I loved well, it? Hopefully it was. <laughs> so I think it was $70 to go once, but we have been probably the busiest we've ever been in our lives. Thank goodness we are retired early and we do not have jobs because if I don't even have time to go to my favorite classes, then uh, whatever. So we make sometimes bad choices about money too. I want Regularly to... Regularly <laughs> bad choices. All right, yeah, we are far from perfect with money, at least we're gonna own it warts and all. That's right. And by the way, I'm keeping that gym until the last day of us being here, just in case I have time to go out and take my class, because I won't be able to take it anymore, we won't live here, so I'm gonna try to get in. And just as a heads up, it's the holidays, and she, it's a dance class, and she does this, the Mariah, I don't know, does anyone else like the Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas song? She does a whole dance number to that, and it only comes out at Christmas time. I love it so much. I haven't been able to get there since she brought it out at Thanksgiving, but I have a few weeks left, and so I wanna dance to the Mariah Carey song. Yeah, no dancing for me. <laughs> okay, you're with Bills and Utilities. 
Ah, bills and utilities. This month we spent $380 on bills and utilities. Again, nothing really too majorly outstanding here. It's cell phone and gas and electricity, our HOA fees. The only thing we did this month that was a little above and beyond is we renewed a cloud storage thing that we have and we spent 60 bucks for that. And that's mostly our HOA. Our HOA is almost $250 yep. a month. That includes our water. We've had maybe seven snowstorms already in Colorado. Here it is, December. I don't know, what day is this? It's like the 5th of December or something. We've already had like seven snowstorms. So the people who take care of snow removal have been busting their but yep, you know, that we've uh, that that makes yes. two hundred forty dollars really <laughs> worth it. No doubt about it. <laughs> we don't have to do it. Next is food and dining. Three hundred and fifty-four dollars for both of us for the month. Now we had a volunteer job that we worked for about well, twelve days at the beginning of November, and we were fed a catered meal every single day. So that three hundred fifty-four dollars, like it's actually the, our our grocery costs have been creeping up because we aren't. Doing doing this, we're not living our normal life. We're in the middle of moving, packing, we're getting out of our life. This is a very stressful time and a really busy time. So we are having more, we've been saying this for like, I don't know, a couple months. Like we're having more prepared foods because our days are filled with purging our stuff. So the 354 is a little high, but it's only because- We ate out, we ate out a little bit this month, more than we typically do also. And we're saying goodbye to friends and things like that. Yep. So yeah. And then the last category before miscellaneous is going to be shopping. And really the only expense we had there is I got a new Fitbit on Black Friday. That was $100. So $115 is the entirety of the shopping category. But so that was my new Fitbit mostly. Just a little um, dirt about Tim yeah. here. Tim loves Black Friday. He bought, and he bought it with like coupons and things. He bought Quicken software. He bought TurboTax. He bought... Um, some other um, software program. Oh, Norton, right? Norton Utilities, so all these things. So but basically, it cost me $35 mm -hmm. to get about $300 worth of stuff on Black Friday that I intend to use. So these aren't <laughs> gifts, but it's software that I use day in and day out. So I, I, And so I, I, I do like it. I know it's sort of You, anti like, love Black Friday. Yeah, I kind of do. You do? Yeah, I don't know why. Like, I don't do it at all. Tim goes out, Tim goes out early on Black there's Friday. There's gift cards on sale that I use. Anyway, there's all kinds of things that are just... Uh, <laughs> You even like going like in the middle of the night sometimes. He went on Thanksgiving at five o'clock at night. Did I you go did. do this? I yeah. got my Fitbit on Thanksgiving day. At five so. o'clock at night on Thanksgiving day. So the yeah. man is crazy well, when it comes to Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, miscellaneous. That totaled $265. Now what goes in miscellaneous is just like random stuff. So we had $78 for our home. Just we had, we put out some new welcome mats and our storage, we're selling our house. So the new two new welcome mats for selling the house and our storage to, well, we're going to be nomadic where we're keeping our things. We had money for gifts. So it was uh, my um, stepmom's birthday. We had entertainment, which thank you, Tim. He, he, I was looking down at the <laughs> numbers. Entertainment of Spotify, uh, stuff like that, um, our... Um, Hulu. Hulu. Hulu and Spotify. Comes with Spotify. Yes. Yeah. And then our daughter needed some dental work, so we paid for her dentist out of that. And again, that was $265. It's like this catch-all rando category. But that made our spending $3,287 for the month. Now that's not super high over the 3,000 that we're trying to meet, but we were hoping to have some lower months to kind of rein it in. So where Tim mentions we're trying to get to 36,000 at the end of the year, we are already, mm -hmm. so, so where we have spent already for uh, November is for just over $40,000. And both of us had an MRI that we're gonna be paying for out of pocket. In December. In December because it didn't go toward our, like it, it's going toward our deductible. So that's out of pocket, $1,300. And and we're going to be coming closer to $44,000 this year. Now, that's like almost 20% higher than where we're aiming. Aren't you concerned? No. <laughs> so I'm not. So as we talked about before, so 36 k is the number that we shoot for on an annual basis. However, we have plenty of room using the 4% rule given the money that we had when we left our jobs and started our retirement. So we have a, a huge buffer in that that, that, that 36,000 allows. And so the 40 some odd thousand dollars worth of spending certainly fits within that buffer. We still are going to aim for 36K next year. That's gonna be our number for the foreseeable future. I think we're gonna shoot for 36K. We actually think we can do that next year when we are on the road. We think we're going to meet this 36K unless there's some outlier crazy things that happen within the year. Especially health. 
especially health. That's our biggest concern is if we have some health issue and we have to go spend some money out of pocket for surgery or something like that, then we probably will blow it away again next year. But again, our target is 36K. And in next month's Money Recap video, we are going to be getting really into the reasons of why we're so over. And they're not anything crazy. Like, nope. it's, it's, it's kind of reasonable things, but it's nice. So I, I tell people who are looking at a budget, say like we have about $50,000 a year to spend without any problems of going back to work. And naturally, we just found we were spending $36,000 or so year after year. So we said, you know, we can do it. We're doing it. Let's just keep it at $36,000. And that would allow like a hot water heater to be replaced throughout the year. And just car maintenance and things like that. A lot of travel, obviously. But the fact that we didn't go all the way up to our $50,000, um, like a real number, gave us this big cushion. And so I tell people like, you may have this budget, but don't spend up to your budget. Keep a little bit of buffer. And we're here to show like, thank goodness, because our we had a big buffer and, but spending, I don't know, um, $8,000 over our target is like, ooh, thank goodness we had a buffer. There you go. So I think that there's this concept called a sinking fund. And so I think basically the difference between that $36,000 and what we really can spend, those are funds that we consider we're basically putting into our sinking fund or not spending that go to buy these things whenever we have emergencies basically are issues that are going to sink the boat. Yeah. So to our audience, don't worry, we're not going back to work. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get into real quickly our YouTube income. We earned $347 the month of November in our YouTube income. Nothing to uh, like poo poo, but <laughs> It's not going to mean we're not retired. Every single, uh, every few days, someone puts some comment on one of our videos that says, you guys are hawking something and you're not retired because you make all this money on YouTube. We made $347 between two people, so woo. <laughs> we're still retired. Okay, last, we're going to get into our Las Vegas spending. So we had three days in Las Vegas. Not only did we have three days in Las Vegas, we came home from Las Vegas after midnight, maybe at one in the morning on a Thursday, like night, like midnight on Thursday. And the next morning our house was on the market. So we like to live dangerously, I think. <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but that trip was phenomenal. I had promised a post about how we got our Maui trip so, so cheap in the last video. I have not forgotten that. I think I mentioned this last time. Those videos take some time and we're probably going to get those out in January once we are just on the other side of this crazy house stuff. But our Las Vegas trip was another like, whoa, was that cheap? We spent $195 and we hacked $922. We stayed in a great room on the strip. We saw two Cirque du Soleil shows. We had two Two buffets, including one at the fabulous, wow. fabulous Wynn Hotel. Amy hates buffets. She tells me this again and again and again. I never want to go to a buffet. I don't like buffets. This Wynn buffet was something to talk about. It was incredible. And if Amy wants to go back, that is saying something. <laughs> I don't. I, first of all, I don't like to eat that much food. They're kind of expensive, so I feel like I have to get my money's worth. I don't want to get my money's worth. I don't want to eat that much well, food. Well, here you wanted to get your money's worth. I got my money's worth, and yeah. it was free. Both so, of us did. <laughs> yeah, it was super free, uh, so that we really got our money's worth. And we are going to be sharing that in a video. I'm probably going to be writing blog posts about this, so people can kind of really follow along, and it's not um, in the format like this. So look forward to that in, I'm going to say, like about four to six weeks. But again, we spent $195 out of pocket on our trip to Las Vegas. We got a lot of that through credit cards and our yeah. credit card signups. That also included our airfare there and back, that included our parking, basically every penny we spent from the time we left the house until the time we got back. Yeah, so super fabulous. Super fabulous. All right, well, there's our November numbers. Thank you so much for tuning in. What we want to hear from you this week, do you track your spending? How is your spending going for the year? First of all, you can be honest. If you don't track your spending, we're not going to like shun you for that. But the other thing is if you are tracking your spending, are you doing better exactly as you expect or worse than what you had planned? And maybe are you looking to correct that since we're coming into a new year with a new fresh start? So we are looking forward to starting with a fresh start as nomads and getting out of this hole that we've been in and starting with a new budget. Can't wait. It's going to be a big year. And with that, we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Adios.